This is code.org. Let's see what we're working on. Do this. Run the program. Watch the code run and carefully read each individual part. Discuss the questions with your partner. Hi, partner. Ensure your answer at the clash. Find four different find four different four loops. Wow, that's a tongue twister. In the program. What do each do? All right. Let's go ahead. I'll slow mine down a bit and I'm going to hit run. Now, does anything happen? Yes, this does. Phase, uh, phrases. Okay, so it outputs phrases and then nothing. We have to click on stuff. All right. Enter your own phrase. Hello world is a very standard programming phrase. And oh, oh interesting. Oh, I forget how slow it's running. Let's speed that up. Oh, cool. Okay. So what this is doing now, we need four loops. Well, here's a loop. 4i is equal to zero. i is less than five. i plus plus. Let's review. This is a loop. How many times is it going to run? It's going to run five times. Why or and how do I know that? Well, we say, okay, computer, 4i is zero. So we create this variable i, we set it equal to zero. As long as i is less than five, i is less than five, add one to i each loop. i plus plus is i equals i plus one. So what this says is i is zero right now. As, as long as i is less than five, add one to i each loop. So it goes, okay, so zero, okay, boom. Set text plus i, text, go get text input. Well, what the heck is text plus i? Let me reset. This is text zero area, text one, text two. What number do we start at with i? Zero. So text plus i here in quotes will create the string text zero. And then we're going to output text to the text input. Get text, text input. Yep. So we're getting the text. Text input's way down here, right? And so we're going to set the property text i, so this box. What property are we setting? We're setting the text of this box. And what are we going to set it equal to? Oh, we're, we're, we're going to set it equal to grab this text and slap it up in this box. That's what it's doing. Now, how many times is it going to do that? Apparently, it will be doing that five times. Why is it doing it five times? Well, then text i equals i plus one. So now i was zero, i is one. Text one is here. Hey, grab this text, slap it up there. Zoop. Text two is here. Grab the text from the text input zoop, and set the property of text two, zoop, so on and so forth. Now, here's the next loop. Font slider change. What's this doing? Font size. So this should be impacting our size. And we'll be able to see that. Let me do a random phrase. If I have it run faster. Yep. Now, how does that work? We can use I again because these are within functions. These on event functions, it contains our for loop. So we can use the exact same variable again because it doesn't see each other. If our for loop was under one another, we'd have to do something else. Well, most likely, it depends on the circumstance. All right, so for variable i is equal to zero. Again, i is always going to be less than five. Add one to i each time. So hopefully we got that part down. Now, what are we going to do? Well, same thing. Text uh, plus i. So i starts at zero. So it's going to say, OK, text i. So text zero, it turns into a string, which is this box. Okay, I need to set the font size of this box. What am I going to set the font size to? Get number font size slider. What's that? Oh, look, font size slider. So it grabs the number from here, and on the first round, i is equal to zero. So text zero, zoop, and it sets the font size of text zero. Hits the bottom, goes back up, i is now equal to one. So text plus i is text one, changes the font, and then it plays a sound. Now here, same thing. We're looping through all the boxes. We're going to change their colors this time, but what color? Well, this drop down right here. So it says text zero, grab this color, bam, make it that color. Change the text color to whatever the text color is down here. And then let's see, we have one more right here. Ooh, we even have a wall loop. Uh, we haven't really gotten into that. A wall loop happens as while something is taking place. So while the random phrase is equal to the current phrase, this is going to keep changing and what's the oh that's making sure if i hit random phrase twice it says hey if they're getting the same phrase do it again do it again until it's a new phrase all right in this for loop once again we're going to loop through all five texts and then we're going to update the random phrase in them huh
This is a really cool program. All right. What happens if you change the text box variable name? Well, that would be a problem because we're looping through them by using text zero, text one, text two, right? So if I change it to bird or something, then how am I going to use I smack, smash it into a string and loop through them? What happens if you change the Boolean expression I is less than five? It would either go under or over, right? So change it to I is less than four. It's never going to get to this last box. What's this last box called? Four. Well, if i is less than 4, once i is equal to 4, it's going to stop running, skip this stuff in the loop, and keep going on. So therefore, text plus i would never be 4 because it stops when it's 4 and moves along. All right, play a sound when the random button is clicked. Change the counting variable i to a different letter. Okay, yes, it would work. Add phrases to the list. All right, so first play a random sound when the, uh, when the random button's picked. All right, so play sound on random phrase button clicked. I'm just going to put it under this play sound default sound boring. <gasps> Wait, can I? Yes, animal it's going to be. Animal, 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 animal. <gasps> My favorite animal is a cow. It really is. Done. Let's just see. Play sound false. I don't need that, so I'm going to get rid of that. Cool. All right, that part I got. Then what did I want? Change the counting variable i to a different letter. Well, which i? I'm not going to do it for all of them. But yeah, it should work just fine. Because as I've said previously, if I do j, j, and j, we're not done yet, though. This won't work because we also need to change where i is being used, text plus i. It doesn't matter. I could write unicorn here, and it would work as well. As long as you're consistent, it will work as a counting variable. And then here. And it should work just fine. Because the variable just represents something. Okay. And then add more phrases to the list. I'm going to do hello world because it's a classic programming phrase. Hello. Oh, I can't do a comment it. World. This is cool. All right. And I also did this is cool, but you can't see it. Boom. All right. So let's test. Fine. Random phrase. Random phrase. Where's mine? Try. Oh, how are they separating them? Oh, they have it as an actual. Okay, I need. Almost ruined the whole thing. Gotta have your quotes. Got it. Hello, world. Yay! And does this all still work? Red. Huge. Yep. Awesome. Really cool stuff we're learning. Let's keep going.